And we're following breaking news out of Greece this morning where the government now says it's ready to concede ground in bailout talks with its Eurozone creditors. Joining us now from Athens, CNBC chief international correspondent Michelle Caruso Cabrera. Michelle, what's the latest on this? The latest is that the Greek government has sent a letter to creditors which makes a lot of concessions in the negotiations that have been gone ongoing for months now. Uh, what is unclear is whether those are enough concessions to get the uh, creditors, that's the other European countries that have already lent them so much money, to uh, actually come to the table again this week and sit down with them and try to hammer out a deal that will give them some money so they can pay back their loans to the IMF, to the European Central Bank, and also to keep paying their bills. Um, they may have decided to make these concessions, the Greek government, because the banking system is shut down. And as a result, people are limited to withdrawing only 60 euros per day. And then pensioners, many of whom are very elderly and literally go to the bank once a month to get their money. If they're supposed to get 1,000 euros a month or 600 euros a month, today they were told they could only get 120 euros this week and come back again next week. And hopefully there would be cash there. It's not even clear that there would be cash there because the country started to run out of tens and twenties yesterday. Some ATMs couldn't give 60 euros. They could only give 50 because to make, 10, to make 60, you need tens and twenties, right? Uh, so it's become a pretty desperate situation yeah. here. We'll see what happens. Uh, there's a big meeting in the European Central Bank, and that'll be crucial as well. Bianna. Hey, Michelle, it's Bianna here. Great to see you. How much hey, of this Bianna. last minute decision uh, was based on that referendum that Spiros called for Sunday, where he assumed that the majority of Greeks would vote to leave the euro? Now we're hearing that that's not necessarily the case. Yeah, I think that could be a lot of it. I think between the, the crisis within the banks and then the polling beginning to go against him, as you suggested, Bianna, he, in the middle of the night, Friday night, the prime minister says, OK, we're going to have a referendum on this bailout. We think this bailout is too harsh, too cruel, and we want you to vote no a week from now on Sunday. The initial polling in the weekend showed him winning. However, once the banks were shut down, the polling started to move against him, and he may have seen, uh, may have thought that, wow, maybe I'm going to lose this thing on Sunday, and so that could be pressuring him as well, because if he loses, in theory, he could lose his position as well as the prime minister, though Greek politics are a little more complicated than that, but to, to simplify it. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Michelle. We greatly appreciate it, Bye, and good guys. luck out there. Um, what do you think? I think they're going to back down. Oh, yeah. I think I think they were... Playing chicken, and I think, I think no, we'll but, but that's buying some property over there. I think we could <laughs> buy the Acropolis. And buy the Acropolis, two or three islands for those who are shut out of Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard. Poor things. Um, Just look back to the Olympics, though. I mean, did we not see this coming? Where the oh, up yeah. until the very last day, and, and and stadiums still weren't complete. I know. And this is turning into a case study. The reality is, we've never seen a Western country of this size and magnitude go through yeah. something that they're experiencing now, and the citizens are finally getting a taste of what reality is going to yeah. be like for them. Though it's been very difficult on them as well for the past few years. Well, you know.